I'm going to show you how to use packages in our agreements and then how to take what's in those packages and show your client exactly what's going to be due at the time of signing the agreement when you use your integrated payment. So here's your packages. You're going to pull in this block by using this services. Uh, when you pull that in, you'll see you'll get a service block here. Um, I don't want that one, so we're going to get rid of it. So here are the three types. Um, I have this um, fixed straight fee here. So this is a fixed price. I have a couple of optional add-ons here for $500. I've got um, this second type of package. This is a recurring package. I'll just rename that for uh, easy use here. So this is a recurring package. And then I also have my hourly package. So this is an hourly amount. I've got it set up here that my amount per hour is going to be $500 and I'm going to collect a deposit as well. So uh, here I have my payment plan. So if you have a fixed rate, um, a payment plan is a great option for you to say, I want you to pay this amount up front. We're going to do a midway check-in and then you'll owe the final amount at the end. So you'll pull that in here using this payment plan button. Here's what it looks like. And you can set up um, what percentage you want to have pull in at each milestone. Or um, in this case, this one is going to trigger a upon signature. So that's what's going to get paid in your integrated payment um, for a fixed rate package. Um, I've also pulled in, let's say you don't want to use a payment plan or you don't have a fixed rate amount. So I'm going to use the tokens here. Um, so this is just a text block that I created. I pulled in this rich text formatter. Um, I used, a, I created a table here uh, with a couple of columns. You can edit the padding so it looks really nice. Um, so here is... Um, just a quick table with some other amounts. So you're going to use these drop down tokens here. And so here we've got lots of options. So you can have your upfront total. So that's what's going to be due if you're using integrated payment. That This is the one you're going to want to use. If you're using that integrated payment, this is going to show them here is what you are paying today upfront. And um, we have our one time total. So that's going to calculate how much um, in a single fee, not recurring fees. And that's the total overall, not just what's getting paid today, the total overall that your client is going to pay one sing in a single amount. And then we also have here these um, recurring totals. So you can show the recurring total as well if you want to so show how much this is going to be due every single month. So you can see I've used those tokens here. So I've got a due monthly label. Here's the total. Um, here is the upfront total. This is what is going uh, in single fees. We're going to call this. Um, oh. Yeah, this is, sorry, the upfront total is what is going to be due today. So when they sign it, with this integrated payment, here's how much they are going to pay you. So we'll just make that really clear here. And then this is the total one time. So this is a one time overall fees in total. Not probably what you're going to write, but thanks for watching me type that. Okay, so... We've got that set up. Now your client is able to choose one of these packages and you can test this out in uh, your agreement before you send it. Um, so let's say they click this package. Now you can see with my payment plan for this fixed rate due upon signing is a third. At midway, we're going to do a third. And then at the end, they'll just pay the remainder. And then that will update as well. If I click on these add-ons, you can see that those totals are updating. So now when we go to this recurring, you can see I've changed here due monthly. That is uh, this $3,000. What they're about to pay, that's going to pull in. Here's They're going to pay that up front. So they'll pay that on their card. Now, if you choose to not include this uh, integrated payment, uh, you can always send an invoice. And so well, if you want to send an invoice, instead of having that all here in one document, um, you'll turn on this, uh, you'll use these settings. You can either review the invoice before it's sent um, by toggling that on, or if you leave it toggled off, an invoice will automatically send for this um, amount for your recurring packages.
Finally, when we select hourly, to show you how this is going to work, I'm gonna remove this payment plan option because it's interfering here. So um, if, if you wanted to, you could allow them to have a payment plan, but it would be very confusing. So if you're going to bill hourly, okay, so we've got your package in here. We have your hourly package set up here where you have $100 per hour. You're going to work for about 10 hours on this over the next month or whatever you have set up, and you're going to collect a 50% deposit. So what I have in here is using those. Here's that upfront total. Here it's going to show that in the same in a one-time total as well. Um, and so they can see clearly here, okay, I've selected this hourly package, and I'm gonna you're collecting this $500 deposit. So then you'll be able to to apply that amount to future invoices as you uh, send them other invoices if you like. So that's how you can use your packages and how you can show your client exactly what they're going to pay. So you'll want to use text boxes and you're going to use these tokens uh, to show your client exactly what they're going to pay. And then they'll be able to select each package and be able to see this amount change as necessary.